My enemies are many. My equals are none. In the shade of olive trees, they said Italy could never be conquered. In the land of pharaohs and kings, they said Egypt could never be humbled. In the realm of forest and snow, they said Russia could never be tamed. Now they say nothing. They fear me, like a force of nature, a dealer in thunder and death. I say, I am Napoleon. I am Emperor. The seemingly unstoppable armies of Napoleon are a great threat to all Europe. But for now, Prussia should keep their own counsel. Britain, Austria, and Russia have requested you join the war effort against Napoleon. But for now, the king prefers to observe the progress of the conflict from afar before acting decisively one way or the other, as German states may be under threat from both France and Austria. As the leading German nation, it is up to Prussia to protect the sovereignty of those states. Perhaps it would be better to annex them yourself to guarantee their independence from French imperialism. The best strategy is to build your armies up to full strength whilst France and Austria fight it out, then ally with the power who best serves Prussian interests. All the while the Russian bear looms in the east, eager to sweep the German-speaking parts of Poland into its mighty paw. Whatever happens next, delaying for too long will result in the destruction of Prussian possessions across its rightful homelands. Something that must not be allowed to happen. Hi everyone, welcome to a new Total War Napoleon campaign. The campaign of the coalition. Yes, we put the vote up and Prussia was the favourite to uh, explore their uh, campaign. So we just had a bit of an introduction from this nice young lady here, and mission has been issued. Reformation of the army. Construction building, drill school. It is evident that our last defeat at the hands of the French was not due to our skills or cunning, or the morale of our troops. Quite the opposite, in fact. It is only due to the advances in technology and organisation that such common plebeians could have been defeated by our valiant royal armies. We have learned this lesson bitterly and must take action at once to prevent another embarrassing disaster. Currently we are at peace and should use this time to enhance our uh, recruitment capabilities. Uh, experience for all your lads units. Brilliant. So welcome. Welcome back. Here we are. We are Prussia. We are Wilhelm, Frederick Wilhelm III. Um, many of you who do the uh, watch the U-boat series will know that um, there's some of the uh, the medals were first issued under his reign. So we're an absolute monarchy. Um, Frederick has no uh, bones about that. Uh, we are a Protestant state. Our capital is Berlin. Uh, we've got £6,000 in, or 6000 what would they have back then? Deutschmarks or whatever the currency is. 6000 gold uh, in the treasury. Population, pretty good. Prosperity is rich. Prestige rank sublime. Uh, so currently we're bringing in about 1300 a month. We've got trade partners in Denmark, Russia, Sweden and Mecklenburg. Um, here you go. We've got um, some not so happy areas. What's going on with these? Maybe we need to have a look. Warsaw. See Poland. What we got? Uh, religious unrest. Tax burden. Uh, government type. Uh, people. Okay. So I think this first episode is really um, understanding the situation we find ourselves in, putting, you know, building in place and uh, development in place. We are at peace, as it said. Um, I'll check on that later. 
Uh, so we've got Frederick Wilhelm III as our monarch. We've got popularity of the government at 44%, which is not too bad at this stage. Um, our Prime Minister, or our First Lord, Karl von Harden Hardenberg. Uh, he's got plus one to diplomatic relations and plus one to turn town wealth, which is good. Uh, Hans von Blulow, uh, Lord Treasurer, plus three to bonus of global tax rate, plus six bonus to the growth of trade route income, plus six per turn to town wealth. That is very good. He's very good. Ulbrich von Masso, Massau. I don't know. Lord Chief Justice. They've got some great titles, haven't they? He's got no real bonuses. Uh, we've got um, Wilhelm von Bruneck, or Brunecki, uh, Lord Minister of War. Minus 8 recruitment cost to all land units, which is great. Plus 8% to land military technology research. That's great. Minus 6 to upkeep of all army units. Well, he's, pretty, he's pretty decent as well. So our treasurer and our army chief are pretty good. The navy is... Um, Walter von Holstein is uh, First Minister of the Admiralty. He's got nothing, no bonuses. There's the uh, other candidates. Um, our trade. What do we got trading? Ivory is trading at top rate at the moment. We know sugar will, from our British campaign, sugar will then come in to play. So uh, ivory and sugar, I think, we'll, we'll try and target. Which is good. Um... Our objectives. The first one is to build a drill school so we can get um, experience for all our land units. But our victory conditions. We are to capture and hold 25 regions, including the regions shown, completed by the end of your turn in late December 1813. Uh, listed victory conditions held 3 of 11. Uh, total victory regions held 7 of 25. So East Prussia, we need to hold that. Hanover, we need Hanover. Um, baden württemberg we need, Bavaria, um, Frisia, we need, Mecklenburg, we need, Bohemia, hessen Castle, and Saxony and Thuringia. So it's a lot of the German provinces, so, um, prestige, France has got a lot of prestige. Diplomatic relations wise, We've got um, some land trade with Russia, and we are friendly with Russia, so maybe we should make them an ally to try and tempt them not to attack us just yet. Friendly relations with Austria, friendly relations with the UK, so that's definitely people we need to start getting trade with, so let's actually just start that. Let's um, offer a trade agreement. Yes, okay, we're trading with Britain now, which is great. Um, we can get trade with um, Austria uh, via land. Um, request trade agreement. I don't know why I couldn't see it that time. Okay, perfect. France. Let's ask. You never know. Yes, okay, we'll trade with France as well. We're unfriendly, but that'll build up um, our relationship with them, so that'll work out. And then we've got chances of getting some good cash in before they kill us. Um, Hessen, again, friendly. Let's offer some trade. Um, there we go. And Saxony we can trade with as well. Because these are all by road. Um, everything else requires a port, which we don't have any more capacity. Great, so there we go. We've um, improved our um, trade partners no end there. So that should now... Predicted to bring in a lot more income. Happy days. There we go. Simple, simple thing. <laughs> Small victories. Um, so we've got Russia on our doorstep here. Um, in uh, Konigsberg, East Prussia. So we've got a. No, we haven't got drill school. What do we need to. What is that? Mass mobilization. Right. So do we have any research areas? We do. Madliburg. Let's have a look. Where's that? There we go. We're going to do a lot of learning, I think, on this. We could get a classical university. What's the difference in um, uh, research rate? So the college currently has minus one happiness for the both classes, by the looks of it. Clamour for reform. Um, conducts technology research 10 points per turn. Spawns a gentleman, maximum plus one. 4% chance per turn to spawn a gentleman. 
a classical university. Um, improves fraction-wide research point by one per turn. Minus two camera reform. Conducts technology at 20 points per turn. And gentleman spawns plus two. Plus 8% chance of a spawn of a gentleman. Right. Um, that would be a good one to do. Let's get our gentleman here in here straight away. And we will get... Where's mass production? Is that it? Mass mobilization is there. So we need to get these done first before we can um, get that. So we need to get conscription. Well, then we get mass mobilization so we can get our drill school. Excellent. I'm not going to um, look to build... Oh, that's right. I'm a French border as well. Um, Oldenburg, Frisia. That is one that we require for our list. Are we? Oh, wow. Hang on. France have got Hanover, but we've got... Oh, this is messy, isn't it? This is a really messy front line. Right, what have we got here in Cleves? We can get barracks built, which we probably will require. What have we got army-wise? We've got some dra heavy dragoons, horse artillery, um, some skirmishers, Jaegers, musketeer line, musketeer line, okay. Um... Let's get a barracks built there. This is going to be our front line with France, so it's going to be probably, yeah, something that we'll need to do. Um, we've got the Swedish down here. They're going after Mucklenburg. Hmm, okay. Our capital, Berlin. Um, we can get a court of justice. We could build a barracks, a ordnance factory, opera house, a... Siege Luca National Monument. Siege Lul. I don't know how to pronounce that. Sorry. Um. How is how is actually Berlin looking? Look, it's, it's not too bad. Government type um, predicted. So they don't like having an absolute monarchy. Is that what we're saying? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Um. Get some hussars, uh, six pounders, musketry, and militia. Let's get, um, I think, oh god, hang on. I'm going to get some barracks built because we will need that in the upcoming times. This is Saxony here, that's all good. Um, what do we have in way of ports? Hmm. Nothing that we can quickly and cheaply upgrade. So we've got one port there. Is that our only coastal region yes yeah, so we may need to take some more coastal oh hang on do we not have a port Konigsberg where's your landmass end is that oh it's a Russian port damn okay we don't have a, a port there which is slightly disappointing um we can get gunsmiths and manufactories made there we've got Supply post and market there. Ooh. 50% or 50 regional wealth and plus 6 to town wealth in the region. And supply units good when you've got armies on the move, isn't it? Hmm. Over here we can get a magistrate. Not a lot else by the looks of it. Right, I think what we need to do is build some roads. Let's get our basics uh, underway to begin with. Let's get some roads built. Um. Ah. I am slightly surprised at this one being out here on its own. It's a really, it's a real weird outlier, isn't it? Iron mine. Ooh. How much is that? Eight hundred. We'll do that as well. Did I get the roads built there? No, let's get roads built. Yeah, this is a real patchwork. This is really, you know, um, our borders are really open, aren't they? That's 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 the worrying thing. Down here, um, we'll get these roads built as well. We're at peace, so hopefully that doesn't change anytime soon, so we can afford not to. Uh, 
We need to develop all these things as well and the markets. Okay. Um, so do we have any generals? We do. Um, where are you? You're in there. Oh yeah, let's have a look. What are you like? Uh, so we got Frederick Zu Hoffenloh Ingelfell Fingen. Right. Frederick here. FCHI. That's what we're going to call him. Uh, he's a drill master. He's a soldier from birth. Steady under fire. And um, darling of the gutter press. He's got general staff. And he's a four star general. He's 59. Okay. That's good to know. Then we've got... Um, Gebhard von Blücher. Uh, three star general. He's 62. Aggressive attacker. Riding master. And a true blue Prussian. He's got a favourite charger as well. That's nice. Uh, where are you based? Konigsberg. You're up there. Okay. That's quite a sizable army as well. Interesting. Um, and then we've just got captains. And then we've got we go in Berlin we've got um, oh sorry wrong one we've got uh, Louis Ferdinand Prince von Pr Proven Pr yeah he's a um, wow superstar general a 32 born to fight confident general okay he could be our superstar going forward I suppose no fleets um, okay now, we had a port over here, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, we should have got a trade ship going, really. We'll get a trade ship going next time. Because um, I think if we can get some trade ships going, get down on... Well, get up here, I think, to begin with. I think there's sugar up here, isn't there? That's cotton, tobacco, tobacco down here, then. Cotton. Sugar. So we get some sugar and we get some ivory as well. There. If we get some of these, we don't want to go too venture too far into the med because there's all sorts of pirates and um, trouble in there. But for now, um, I hope I've spent wisely. And in late January 1805, agent recruited Johem Alert Bode, a gentleman. Fantastic. You hop into the college then. And there we go. Absolutely, my friend. Whatever you say. Um, so, agent recruited. That's good. Um, the Confederation of the Rhine. Although normally independent states, the German lands along the eastern bank of the River Rhine are but mere pawn pawns to the so-called Republic of France. Their lords bend the knee to the Grand Empereur. And kiss the boots like any other of his lackeys. There is no time to, there's no time for diplomatic bean counting. This is a great war. You stand and dither. With us or against us, and they have chosen. We must, in all aspects, regard these territories as French possessions. Right. It's Munich and Stuttgart. Mission issued. Forging an alliance with Russia. Okay. Um, the rapacious French Empire is spreading its influence like the plague across the continent. And it will not be long before they set their sights upon our own lands. Already many of the Rhinelanders' nations have fallen foul of Napoleon's ambition. And even Austria finds itself under threat from the Grand Army. Measures must be taken to reinforce their opposition. Uh, in anticipation of their offensive, a military alliance with the great Russian Empire will ensure the support that we require should we face a full-scale invasion. We'll get a thousand reward for doing that. Okie koki, right. Um, let's get straight on to it. Uh, Russia, where are you? We're friendly. Let's let's ask for a an alliance then. Forging an alliance. Russia has agreed to cement the alliance between our two nations. Rest assured that our lands are secure within the Tsar's forces supporting our cause. For how long, I don't know. But there we go. And that should have gifted us a thousand. Yes, it has. Nice. Right, first off, let's get some trade ships built. I'm going to pay for two. Um, 
move you down a grand. Let's have a look. Right. So things like um, Mocklenburg and um, Oldenburg, they are basically Prussian territories, aren't they? But Prussian kingdoms, are they? Is that, is that what they were saying at the start? And we can maybe negotiate for them to become um, vassals? Let's have a word. Um, would you like to become uh, a protectorate? Um, so these proposals have little to comment about them, therefore we must reject them. To commend them, sorry. Okay. So they're destitute and they're feeble, and yet they're not willing to become a... No, okay. I suppose that they wouldn't want to. You want to hold on to your independence for as long as possible, don't you? Right. We've got um, barracks being created there. Uh, will that give us better troop? Yes, it will, I think. Musketeers. Well, it gives us... Um, He gives us a few more options anyway, doesn't it? Uh, so we'll start building up a force there, I think. Just because it's, it's really on the outskirts of uh, civilization as we know it. Um, over here in Berlin, we got quite a nice army. We've got some uh, cuirassiers, third horse guards. Uh, melee attack is quite... charge bonus is quite good. Um, we've got some heavy dragoons. We've got couple of uh, horse artilleries. Grenadiers. Oh, nice. This is quite a nice army. This is a, and this is our star general, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's a, no, it's a nice army, actually. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to start a war too soon, when we can use this peacetime to um, continue to to build up our our forces and uh, and our, our economy. More importantly, I think. Um, now, do we want to get a supply post or a market? So that's plus eight to replenishment rate in this region. But obviously, then you get an improvement, which will do all regions. Or do we go for the market? 50 to wealth, six, but I'm going to go for the market, I think. That's got the trade house. What we've got here? Clearances, farms. Yeah, let's get some more food. We don't want to be running out of food. Food security is going to be huge. And of course, it brings in money as well. Um, we're down to 582. That's got a road being built. We've got a small army there. Got Austria down here. Who's this? Oh, the Swiss. Of course, it's the Swiss. Um, let's have a look. Who's not happy? Have we had a look at them? Yeah, we have. We've just done them, haven't we? What have they got there? We could maybe get a gunsmith. Minus, ha minus one for the lower classes from industrialization. Minus three recruitment costs for infantry in this region. And that's the, uh, the cannon one. That's tempting to do, isn't it? Um... Have we done Warsaw? Have we given Warsaw any? No, let's get a road built in Warsaw, I think. Uh, do we have any towns off here? As we do. That's a factory, but we're a long way from um, doing that. We've also got a Prussian spy out there, which we haven't paid any attention to. I forgot to check my agents. Um, Konigsberg, do you have road being built? No, you don't. Right, we'll get road being built in Warsaw first. Okay. Now we've got a spy down here. Where should we send him? Um, I think. Do you reckon Austria is going to give us problems, or I think France is going to be our biggest problem? So we'll, uh, or maybe Russia. Hmm. Um, I'm thinking it makes sense to try and bring Saxony and stuff into our into the fold, doesn't it? But let's come down here. I'm going to send him down there to Munich. Because if we can push through here, that's Austrian, um, into Stuttgart maybe, and try and get Stuttgart and Bavaria. 
as our first points. We're not at war with France yet. It's just worth, it's worth stating that we're not at war with them. It's just um, that we're trading with them as well. So we don't want to... While the going's good, we might as well just try and reap a little bit more money. But how's Saxony? Saxony's doing okay. They've got allies in the Hessen. They've got Saxony and they've got Prussia as a trade partner. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, maybe maybe we can get these guys. How are they doing money-wise? They're meager, moderate. Okay. Um... Do we want to request? I think if we request an alliance, we've got an excuse then to go in if they get attacked by Austria. But then, no, we probably we'll probably hold off that. I don't know how that works. And in late January 1805, Austria have knocked on the door asking for a military alliance. Uh, they will pay us 440. Okay, that kind of takes them off our problem list as well. Who are they allied with? Sicily, Sweden, Britain, Naples, Russia. Enemies with France, Italy, Bavarian Republic, Swiss Confederation, Spain. Okay. I don't want to get dragged into a fight with France or Spain just yet, but we'll be allies. And in early February 1805, agent recruited Peter Simon Pallas, a gentleman of Pomerania. Oh, is that where the little dogs come from? Cool. Right. Um, we've only got one um, place at the moment. So you're going to have to, my friend, march all the way over. Uh, where is it? It was over here, wasn't it? Where was the college? Here. We could maybe start to look to build another one somewhere. Or maybe use somebody else's. There's a Russian one nearby. We're allies with them. We could use their college. Uh, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the crew. Uh, ancillary gained. George Frederick Hugel. Uh, gentleman. Dusty librarian. Books, sir, are the repository of wisdom. War declared. A war has broken out between the nations of the Ottoman Empire and Austria. Thanks, Austria, dragging us into that. Bloody hell. Hopefully that hasn't dragged us into that. We should be okay with that. Right. I think next up... Um, you see, with our trade agreement... We're allied with an enemy nation. Who are they at war with? Um, Austria. Oh, I'm from... I wanted to look at Britain. Sorry. That confused me for a moment. Um, yeah, okay. Um, so, here we go. Uh, trade agreement plus 17, which is adding. Historical friendship minus is negatory. Okay. Government type. A different government type. No, we have. We've got a, a monarchy and a Protestant, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, no, hang on. What have they got? That's... Consti con consti consti Constitutional monarchy? That's the one, isn't it? Okay. That is slightly different then. Right, let's open the um, negotiations with uh, George III. And let's offer a um, alliance. Nothing to... Uh, can, okay. Well, maybe... We'll just, let's let that build up a little bit. We've only got plus 61 at the moment. Uh, we're minus 64 in France. Okay. Um, but it would be nice to have a, a friendship with them. Spain is unlikely. Yeah, it's unlikely. Um, Denmark. Let's let's open up an alliance with Denmark. Okay. These terms are unacceptable. Apparently, we're friends. I, I thought we were friends, Denmark, but apparently not. Uh, Hessen. Allies, trade partners. Yeah. You see, I'm I'm a little bit nervous whether or not to go full on attacking these um smaller nations to capture them. Um so I don't want to cause too much of a ruckus at the start, if you know what I mean. 
Um, stud farm brings wealth to the region and minus six percent to cavalry. Okay, let's get that. Um, we've got that being built there. We've got an ordnance factory here, which will bring in. Um, Six pound artillery, landwehr, and six pound horse artillery. It's not that exciting though, is it? Over here in Stettin, Pomerania, you can get a magistrate, uh, plus ten uh, plus ten wealth generation in the region, minus two repression, re enables research of national census and public schooling. That's quite a good. Yeah, it's always good to have the the populace under your control, isn't it? Um, we've got the first boat coming out shortly. East Prussia. Do we ignore you last time? Possibly. We've got the barracks here. We could build a theatre or a cannon foundry, or star fort, or a magistrate. Right, the army here. Oh, hello. Here, here he is. Is Gebhardt. Um, what well, we have out here? A manufactory. This is uh, cost of artillery in this region. 250 to wealth. Enables research of numerous things. Division of labour, poverty control laws, uh, land drainage and bottling and canning. That does not. Interesting. Let's get the uh, cannon manufactory underway then. Opens up more research later. Um, a theatre? How are the population? Um, well, they're not thrilled, but they're not desperately um, rioting at the moment either. Secret society? Oh, hello. What is this? Oh, this is what spawns spies. Places of secrecy. Uh, members clubs help generate spies and improve the happiness of all social classes. So currently we've got plus one happiness to all classes. It spawns spy, 4% chance of spawning a spy. If we upgrade that, 2% happiness, 8% and um, get another spy. Shh, it's a secret. Oh, hell yeah. I'm all about secret societies, even if it's not the best way to spend my money. Gotta have me a secret society. Right. Um, Roads being built, and we've got a small token force there. What's down here? That's Austria. Um, Saxony there. We've got these towns here, which we can do a gunsmith or a manufactory. Merchant house, but we need classical economics before we can go any further with that development. Um, that's Austria held. Right. Hanover. It would make sense if we actually attacked France and took Hanover. That would leave this territory slightly vulnerable, but that's a really odd one to have. So what I might do, as Russia's friendly with us, he says, I'll leave that army there. But this army here, if we leave... Actually, let's... um. Let's get some uh, militia. We'll hold Pomerania with some militia and we'll move uh, this army. Collect some of this army and we'll move um, to position here. And then I think we'll attack Hanover when we do lift the uh, the veil on our our attack plans. Uh, now let's have a look at Sweden because there's got the Swedish army here and I'm not sure what the allies with Austria Kingdom of Sicily, Naples, UK, Russia. They're at war with Batavian Republic, Holland, or Netherlands, sorry, um, France, and the Kingdom of Italy. Austria, Denmark, Prussia, Great Britain, trading with. So why on earth are they sitting in um, Mecklenburg? The hell's Mecklenburg? Allies with Denmark. Yeah, that's really weird. It's like it's, a, it's like a really awkward conversation. Do we know? Do we know why he's standing there? Uh, no, 
That's a bit weird. Okay. And we move into late February 1805, and a path is blocked for our spy. Okay, we'll have a look at that in a little while. Meanwhile, agent recruited. Our secret society is really helping now. Uh, Roger uh, Blue Holes is a spy in East Prussia. This man has been recruited by your nation as an agent. He is available for immediate assignment. The spy also a saboteur, an assassin, who can be sent into the target city to report on its contents and sabotage buildings. To attempt an assassination, select the target here. Good, good, good. It, another mission has been issued. Um, restructuring the state. Classical economics. Okay, our society is a... As much as we have come to love it, very old-fashioned. Ever since the crusade of the Teutonic Knights, our farmers have tilled the land as serfs. And access uh, to possessions and influence wealth in our state have been limited to the chosen few. We must, like other European nations, give, us, give the able the opportunity to benefit from the government. Reforms of trade and civil liberties are needed. At least the French force their own opinions upon us. So we don't want the French forcing their opinions upon us. Where would we be? Retired at 60 would be... Anyway, uh, treasury um, plus two if we do that. Okay, that's good. That focuses our mind. Uh, William von Brunecki. Um, minus one happiness to nobility, plus one happiness to the lower uh, classes because he's got himself a floozy. Cheap entertainment keeps one in touch with the common folk. Lovely. An iron mine has been constructed in Cleves Mark. And uh, we've got our first unit created, which is a militia in Pomerania. Right. Um, where were we sending you? Were we sending you to Vienna? No, we're going to send you on to um, Munich, weren't we? Uh, we also have another spy up here now in East Prussia. Uh, do we? Oh, there he is. He's standing just outside. Do you know what? I think... Do we want to go and have a look at... It would be silly... Infiltrate. Don't, don't sabotage. It would be silly not to have a look at Russia as they're on our doorstep. Even though we are friends, um, we need to keep an eye on them. Because, you know, alliances are not really worth the paper they're written on half the time. Good. Right. We should have a ship um, out soon. Barracks and the magistrate. Okay, they're going for it, aren't they? All right, you were you were going to march your way into the uh, uh, into there. We were going to upgrade this as well. We don't have the money. Okay, we'll hold off, and we want to upgrade that into a, a full university. Good. There we go. That will give us our conscription. So they're trying to classical economics. That's what they want us to look at next, isn't it? Uh, so if we, we research that one next, actually let's have a look uh, on these missions. Do they have um, a a due date type thing? No, they don't, do they? So obviously we need to get mass mobilisation to get our drill school uh, to get this one. That'd be experience for all our land units, which would be good. But we'll do economics first because that's two thousand cash. And that will be very beneficial. All about the cash. Right. Um, let's get another... How, how is the state when it comes to people... When the garrison leaves, it's going to be... Ooh. Yeah, they're not going to be delighted. Let's get um, another one. Uh, another two. Recruited. We maybe only move some of the troops out because I don't want too much of an uprising when that happens. Um, right, how's Berlin looking? We've got the barracks being created in two more turns. Could get an opera house. Enhances our national prestige, wealth, and happiness all classes. Maybe not just yet. Road being built as well. How are they doing? Again. If we were to march the army out, the full army out, there would be problems. Um, so I'm going to recruit a couple of a couple of um, militia. Yes, it adds to our burden, but 
it'd be nice to be able to move some of these troops around to a position when we do strike we are good to go in full force uh, we're going to do the musket manufactory because that brings in money I think there we go and how are you looking you've got a road being built as well that's all looking good. Got barracks being built there. Happy days. We're down to 540 monies, but um, you've got your road being built. Happy days. Over here in Warsaw, you've got roads being built. How many? Yes, they're not really roads, they're tracks, but it's a start. So, East Prussia, let's get some roads there. Uh, Danzig, we need to get some roads there as well. And then at least we'll be able to zip around our little kingdom uh, relatively quickly. Um, yeah, right. <sighs> um, Hessen. Do you want to become... Who's this? Saxony. Do you want to become meager, moderate? No, they're kind of going to be, gonna, gonna be quite independent, aren't they, when they've got meager wealth, moderate, when they're not destitute and struggling to survive. Um, so let's have a word with Mucklenburg, plus 44. How are they doing? Moderate now. They're going they're, they're survive. Well, they're doing better than surviving, and that's the thing, isn't it? They're doing better than surviving. Destitute weak. So this is probably the best one we've got to become a protectorate. No. Okay. Uh, what about... Saxony, ah, uh, they're okay. Right, so we're gonna, I think we're going to target Oldenburg. As they are here. They got, oh, they've got quite an army as well, actually. Looking at it. Yeah. Maybe we'll get a spy up there. Because if we can get Castle, and we'll get them. And then we can encircle this French... Um, territory of Hanover and we can ask them to surrender it and see if they would maybe we can buy it off them and here's our spy getting near Mu Munich oh, we've got a Russian army down here as well yeah, my lord. interesting so yeah I think probably we'll go past Munich and maybe come and have a look at Stuttgart because that would probably be the obvious one to come and take first well Hanover is probably the obvious one but uh, I want to make sure there's um, well, we've got a British um, blockade of the um, Batavian Republic's port there in Amsterdam but I'd like to see some British troops on the on the ground here um, so we know we can we're not going to take the full force of the French um, land troops if that makes sense so I don't think we're quite ready for it I've right, got ship coming out next time and we slip into early March 1805 uh, and roads have been built everywhere fantastic we're really proud well I say roads our mud tracks have been produced everywhere and we have a our first ship of our fleet which is uh, this little um, trade ship so let's send that up there this merchantman we're gonna send him around hopefully uh, how are we doing? We're friendly with Denmark, aren't we? We're at peace with Denmark, so there should be no reason that they would attack our ships. Yeah, we need to keep Denmark friendly, actually, because they would actually cripple our sea trade. Um, now, we've got another ship being built. I'm going to put another one on charge, because I think if we can get them in early, we're going to benefit from them later on, um, because the money will just accrue. Now... Um, I'm thinking, actually. Friesland is there for the taking, isn't it? Uh, not Friesland, sorry. Saxony. I was looking at Frisia. Friesland is, um... Netherlands, isn't it? It's up, up here somewhere. Uh, anyway, um... Yeah, that's what I've been thinking about. Uh, you go past there. You come over to Stuttgart. There's a fair few troops in Munich. So if we attack these smaller nations and take them, um, it just means that there's going to be they're not, not going to have that much in the way of um, repercussions. Let's try and infiltrate that. 
didn't quite have the energy to get there this time. So Saxony, see they're building their things up there. We've also got raids, which is a bonus, but um, we're friendly with them. Allies with Austria and Hessen. Hmm. What about Oldenburg? Oh, Oldenburg don't have any. So maybe they're the ones we need to be attacking because they're not going to have any repercussions. We've already got an army out here, don't we? Well, it's not much of an army. Um, right, I think I think we've um, Oldenburg is going to be our first target, I think. Right, let's... I'm going to move you lot out. Um... We can't actually get there, can we? On our territory. Which is slightly annoying. Do we attack Hanover then? No, because that's going to encourage France to come up here. Oh, actually, that's not our territory, so that's okay. They come up through here, maybe. Okay. Perhaps, then, Hanover is going to be our target. Let's uh, let's leave those guys there. Let's bring them onto the border. Oh, it's a bit close, but um, I'll also so what they got in that army? We got cavalry, guns, uh, some skirmishers, some grenadiers, and we need some more line. So I'll send these, and I'll send the cavalry. And they're going to join up with those, and we'll leave the force here. Are they going to hold that okay? Um, let's just send him with a couple of units over here. Just to... Uh, yeah, they're going to be fine. And that should just ease this, so there's not going to be too much bother. Yeah, excellent. Okay, good. So he's these troops here... We'll form up with these guys, and they're going to be pushing on to Hanover. We're going to start poking the French bear, as it were. It's the Russian bear, isn't it? The French eagle. No, what's, what's the... It's like the Russian bear, the uh, the British lion, or I suppose you could say the lion is also the, um, the Netherlands symbol, isn't it? I've got the Royal Dutch Lion. Um, what's what's France's? Now on their um, it's the cockerel, isn't it? The rooster. They have it on. Well, I'm thinking of rugby. In rugby, they always used to bring you know, roosters and put them on there for the French. But I don't know. I don't know what is their national animal. Who knows? I'm sure some of you do. Put in the comments if you do know. That'd be interesting to know, actually. Right, so we've got troops building there. We've got the barracks coming on there. That's doing okay. What have we got? 2,300 in the kitty. Um, he's moving down there. We've got the spy over here. Oh, hello. Hello. He's going to try and get into Mittau. See what's going on there on our border. He's successfully in. Excellent. Let's have a look. Anything going on? No, not really. But that's okay. That's That just kind of gives us a bit of reassurance. Uh, we've got uh, a manufactory being built there. What have we got there? Clearances. Yeah, let's improve the farmland. Potentially got either a cannon foundry or a theatre. Theatre will bring happiness to both classes. Plus four to turn to allow town wealth, recruitment and national prestige. And the cannon foundry will um, enable recruitment of cannons and uh, and militia. What can we recruit at the moment? Okay, so cannons might be a useful one. Or well, if we get the drill school. Oh yeah, we won't be able to do that. Hang on. What's that one? Okay, let's get the cannon foundry. That'll just allow us to have some artillery on our uh, eastern flank, which would be useful. 
We've got Poland down here. Can these recruit? Oh, these can re recruit um, cannons, so it's not all too bad. Um, barracks would be quite good down here. Yeah, I think we need to probably fortify around Warsaw. Because we are surrounded by Austria and Russia there, which will eventually come for us. Um, over here. Got a few troops. Not much else is going on. Um, here we can afford to get a gunsmith. But it doesn't bring money in. But it reduces cost of infantry. Um, let's have a look at the building browser. Okay, so uh, Cannon Foundry. They got Ordnance Factory, Great Arsenal, and Ordnance Board. That's the there, okay. Then we've got the Tax Office, Magistrate, Court of Justice, Court of Appeals, Theatre, Opera, Grand Opera House, Grand Great Museum. So they're the options there. Well, we're five gold coins short anyway, so that's okay. We can't really choose one. Um, gunsmith. What happens after a gunsmith? Um, what's this place called? That's just the town. No, it doesn't. It doesn't tell us. Okay. It'll be interesting to see um, sort of where the gunsmith goes, if it's just a one-off thing. Um, but we won't worry about that too much. So, with um, obviously there's not really terribly much action this time because we're just starting. But we have the first ship of the Prussian fleet, which is a trade ship, and we're going to get a couple more trade ships, and we're going to just try and get them probably down to down here somewhere. Um, or actually, how are we doing with Spain? Unfriendly. Hmm. But, uh, if you look at it, actually, it's the religious differences are minus 5. Everything else is plus, oh, plus 15. Alliance with an enemy nation, that is minus 37, true. But it is got a positive, so that is improving. So that total of minus 26 may soon become less, um, uh, less negative, more positive. M yeah, m might start improving, basically. You look at France, for example. We are um, all sorts of um, trouble with them. They're minus 58, our reputation with them. But the Alliance of Enemy Nation, yes, that's a negative, but it's improving. You can see the, the plus sign there. Historic Grievances, that's minus 36, but there's a plus sign there. That's improving. Our trade agreement is plus 19. That's doing a huge benefit to us. Um, regional Differences, minus 5. Uh, national leaders, command respect, plus one. So that's improving as well. Which actually makes me... Oh, I don't know. Do we attack France yet, or do we hold? Do we hold off? Do we maybe take Castle? And take the um, Saxony and uh, Oldenburg as well? Because... I think this... They, Oldenburg don't have any allies, so they would be a, a clean attack, as it were. Saxony do have um, Austria and Hessen. Hessen have uh, Saxony, which I'm not too worried about attacking those two. Um, the Mecklenburg has Denmark, which could be a problem. So, I don't know. Maybe, what do you reckon? Put in the comments below. Saxony, Target, um, Castle, Oldenburg. I'm starting to think that my excitement about going for the French might be a little bit um, too much risky. Oh, yeah, too risky. I think. I don't. I don't think that will benefit us long time. Um, especially as our relations with the French are improving. That you know, we might as well try and make the hay or the sun shines, or make the money while we're still trading. That's my thinking there. But um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. What should be our first? Uh, strike point and is it worth getting a gunsmith because it doesn't appear to be yes there's a slight improvement but it doesn't help research and it doesn't bring money in hmm. yes 
It's a slow start, but these things always do start slowly when you when you're trying to build the economy, isn't it? I think, as always, a strong economy is going to be the bedrock we start this campaign on. Without that, we're going to be turned over pretty quick. So yeah, but we do need to start expanding before these territories really start to yeah build their defenses and build their alliances, and that's just going to be so many loose ends if we try and attack them so we're gonna, we need to strike early I feel maybe France is not the answer one of these I think perhaps would be yeah let me know your thoughts in the sections below and I will read them and see what the common consensus is and use that to guide me going forward thank you so much hopefully this is going to be a great campaign it's a slow start as I said but these things always are uh, I'm quite excited about it anyway so I'll see you for the next one and hopefully we'll have a little bit of action. Take care. Bye-bye.